Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jonathan Casey. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, I like to talk all things tech related. It doesn't matter if it's a smartphone, a computer, or a camera, chances are you're gonna see it on this channel. Now, I try to deliver consistent, unique, and interesting content each and every week. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. In this video, we're gonna be going over some tips and tricks for Bixby on your Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. But first, I do have to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, which is Bitdefender Total Security 2020. Bitdefender Total Security 2020 is an all-in-one anti-malware suite that prevents viruses and other malware from infecting your computer. It protects your device from cybersecurity threats and improves system performance. Not only does it work with Windows and Mac OS, but it also supports iOS and Android. Things like theft prevention, website scanning, and a built-in VPN are just a few things that Bitdefender Mobile Security is capable of. Bitdefender Total Security comes with webcam protection and a microphone monitor so you never have to worry about people gaining access to things that they shouldn't. If you combine the benefits of mobile security, webcam and microphone protection, plus the built-in cyberbullying and online predator protection, you have top-of-the-line protection for your entire family, including your little ones. For more information, including a free 90-day trial to Bitdefender Total Security and mobile security, click the link down in the description. The first tip is to get familiar with Bixby Quick Commands. Bixby Quick Commands are a single action or a set of actions that can be activated with a word or a phrase. To access Bixby Quick Quick commands, you're gonna go inside the Bixby app, which you gotta make sure Bixby is enabled. If you've disabled Bixby, then you're not gonna see it inside of your app drawer. So make sure Bixby is enabled and then tap on Bixby. Another way to get to it is if you're using the stock launcher, to swipe over, you should have Bixby voice pinned as a card. Just tap on learn more and it will take you to the same page. Then tap on these three little dots right here and then tap on quick commands. Recommended are all the recommended quick commands based in different categories. So you can see you have productivity, daily routine, lifestyle, and place. And then my commands are going to be the set of commands that you currently have running. So you can see I have good morning. Now, obviously that quick command may not be for everybody. And just so you know, this is the stock recommended good morning quick command. If you wanted to customize it and remove some of those actions, let me show you how. There's a couple different ways that you can customize your commands. So you can just simply tap on good morning and it's gonna allow me to customize it. But let's do it from scratch to show you. So we'll go ahead and delete this one, go back under recommended, go under daily routine, tap on good morning, and then tap edit. Now I can start taking away different actions that are gonna take place whenever I say good morning. So let's go ahead and take away the schedule. We'll take away the weather alerts and we'll take away today's date. Hit done and then tap save. We'll go back to my main page here. And when I say, hi Bixby, good morning. So the first thing it did was turn off do not disturb. And now it's going to run the second command or the second action. Do not disturb is already switched on. So it just turned on always on display. And then finally, it's going to give me the weather. Winter Garden. It is clear at 60 degrees right now. So that's a quick look at Bixby Quick Commands. They're also extremely useful for smart home control, especially if you're using Samsung appliances or you're tied into the SmartThings ecosystem. If you wanna see them in more detail, then make sure to check out my Bixby Routines video where I tied routines together with Quick Commands and I was able to accomplish some really awesome stuff. You can check out that video at the card at the top of this one. The next thing that Bixby can do is save a contact just using your voice. Let me show you. Hey Bixby, save 321 five 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 one one two two as Larry in my contacts Do you want to save this yes I saved three two one five 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 one one two two as the number for Larry so there you go. While this may not be perfect for every situation there are times that this is going to come in clutch and I definitely appreciate it. Next up, Bixby can actually read your last text message. And I know this is common with most voice assistants, but it's still really cool that it's here and a lot of people may not know about it. So all you have to do is say, hey Bixby, 
Read my last text message. Here's the message. Message is from Amber Alerts at Thursday, November 14, 3.55 p.m. Hashtag Flamber Dave Cojesman. Sedillo H slash F2 Yo. Lick slash Z782 JSFL. WHT Hyundai Ezra W Diego Sedillo. I guess my last text message was an Amber Alert. I mean, this is Florida. To piggyback off of that, Bixby will also search through your text messages and filter out any messages based on a specific keyword or phrase and allow you to delete those messages. Let me show you what I mean. Delete any text messages with Amber. Are you ready to delete this message? And then all I have to do is tap delete or I can answer yes. Okay, your message is deleted. This is really useful for people that have a lot of messages on their phone and they don't feel like digging through and diving in multiple threads to try to find maybe a pin number or something like that. Just use Bixby to search for pin and delete those messages. Next, you can use Bixby to take a screenshot and then share that screenshot. Let me show you. Take a screenshot and share it with Jonathan Casey. So it just took the screenshot and now it gives me all of the available options to share that screenshot. This is definitely not the most practical thing that Bixby can do, but it's still cool nonetheless, so I had to put it on this list. One of the main benefits of Bixby is the ability to control individual phone settings and enable them with just your voice. Let me show you what I mean. Hey Bixby, turn on Do Not Disturb. Got it, I turned it on. You can go to the Do Not Disturb settings to schedule when to turn it off. Now that's a pretty easy command. Let's try to do something a little bit more detailed that's buried in the menu system. Turn off edge panels. Right away, edge panels are off. So you can see it turned off my edge panels over here. Hey Bixby, turn on edge panels. Got it, they're on. And now you can see they're back on. All of the latest Samsung flagships are equipped with a built-in optimizer that you can run that's buried within the settings. It's gonna help speed up your phone in case it starts to get a little bit choppy, but you can actually activate that optimizer using Bixby. Let me show you. Hey Bixby, optimize my phone. So there you go. It closed eight apps which were running in the background. It freed up 6.84 megabytes of storage there's no apps that are using a lot of my battery. There's no app crashes detected, and it also scanned for viruses. Honestly, this is one of my favorite Bixby features. I wish it was on every phone. Being able to optimize it on the fly like this is just awesome. Another great little trick Bixby can do is open an app and then perform an action. So for instance, I can say, hi Bixby. Show me what's trending on YouTube. So there you go, it opened YouTube and it took me to the trending page. I can also say, hey Bixby, play armchair expert on Spotify. There was a real tactical. So now it's playing one of my favorite here. podcasts. Let me go I ahead and to the, to the stop studio. this before I get a flag. And then the last example would be, hey Bixby, open Play Store and find Sonic. Boom. So there you go. It basically will open an app like the Play Store and it did an automatic search for Sonic. And you can see these are all the Sonic the Hedgehog games. To me, this is really cool. Again, it's not the most practical thing, but if you want to do a quick search on the fly, you could do it with your voice inside an app without being in the app. Pretty neat. For you people that travel a lot and you're constantly using Lyft and Ubers to get you from point A to point B, you're really going to appreciate this because you can order an Uber without going into the app. Hey, Bixby. Order an Uber to get me to the airport. An Uber X car from one Winter Garden to Orlando in Airport. One Jeff Fuqua Boulevard will be about $42. The closest driver is eight minutes away. Ready to book your ride? Now I did have to censor a lot of that out because it showed way too many of my details, but you get the point. I mean, Bixby will order you an Uber and you do the payment and everything using your voice. It's definitely nice. Next up, we have Bixby Vision. Now you can access Bixby Vision two different ways. You can open up the camera app and then tap in the corner and it's going to launch Bixby Vision. 
but you can also use Bixby Voice to open Bixby Vision just by saying, hey Bixby, open Bixby Vision. And boom, just like that. You could do several different things with Bixby Vision, including identifying objects, types of food, plants, things like that. But I'm gonna focus on three different ones that I find to be a little bit more practical. And one of them happens to be the ability to pull text off an object. This is gonna be awesome for scanning things like this, which is a business card. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my business card right here. Let Bixby Vision scan it. At the bottom, we have the option to extract the text. We'll go ahead and tap on that. And it's extracting the text from my business card right now. You can see it got both of my email addresses flawlessly. To me, this is one of the most practical uses of Bixby Vision, to be able to scan business cards and then store all that contact information within the contact in your phone. It just makes a lot of sense. Bixby Vision can also translate text that's written inside of a manual, maybe a road sign, a business card, stuff like that. On the bottom left hand corner, you're going to have to tap the translate button. You can see it's auto to English right now, but you can manually go in and assign the language that you want it to translate from. So right here, I have a manual. It's my Crane M2 manual. It's written in Spanish on this page. So I'm going to hold it in front of the camera and it should start translating as long as it picks it up. There you go, boom. So number one, installation of tripod. Number two is camera installation. The long slot of the quick release plate is for fixing. So it does a really good job and it tries to keep the text as natural as possible. You can zoom in a little bit by bringing it closer. To me, just like the text extraction, this is super practical and I can definitely see people using this to get them around, especially if they travel abroad and they don't speak the language of the country that they're in. Another cool little thing Bixby Vision can do is if you're ever lost and you don't know where you're at, you could use Bixby Vision to help pinpoint your location. Just go to the bottom right hand corner, tap the little pen right here, point your phone straight down and it's going to give you your location. It'll also scan different landmarks to help you identify where you're at. It's not the most practical thing since you could pull up Google Maps and that's going to pinpoint your location probably a lot more accurate than this, but it's still cool that it's there. The next tip I have for you is to expand your capsule library. Now capsules are similar to Amazon Alexa skills. If you're familiar with Amazon Alexa and how she uses skills in order to accomplish tasks and build onto her skill set, then you'll feel right at home with capsules. If you want to see what capsules you already have installed or you want to add some new ones, just go inside the Bixby app and then go under marketplace. This is where you can add new ones to Bixby. You can view the staff picks, the new and trending, or you can pick a category. If you want to view the ones that are already installed, just tap on the little guy here with a circle around them and then go under my capsules. And then these are all the ones that I have installed. Now I went ahead and installed the rhyme generator capsule for this example. So let me show you what it does. Hey Bixby, ask rhyme generator what rhymes with mom. The word that best rhymes with mom is bomb. Please see the list below for some more words that rhyme with mom. So there you go. Like it gave me the most used word, I guess, and then a bunch of other words that rhyme with mom. And you can do this with different words and also with different capsules. Now, of course, this is the rhyme generator capsule, so you can't do this with like the Facebook capsule. But all in all, it's giving you different, uh, you know, actions that you can do with Bixby based off different phrases. It's really powerful, really awesome, and it's great to see how you can expand Bixby using these individual capsules. Next up, if you have a huge photo library, you're gonna love this one because you're able to use Bixby to narrow down the photos that you're looking for. Let me show you. Hey, Bixby. Show me pictures of dogs. So there you go. It showed me only the pictures that I have in my library of my dog. And you can do this with anything. Hey, Bixby, show me pictures of Disney. Okay, so all these pictures right here were done at Disney Springs when I was, you know, gathering samples for my videos. So it's really cool. Like it narrows down your search by, you know, reading all of the data collected from each individual photo. And it's also looking at the photo and analyzing it in order to give you the results. It's pretty neat. Speaking of photos, you can also use Bixby to control your camera. Let me show you. Open the camera and take a picture with the rear camera. So there you go. It took a picture with the rear camera. I could say, hey Bixby, Take a picture with the front camera.
Hey Bixby, start a video with the rear camera. So you can see it started recording video using the rear camera just off my voice. Hey Bixby, take a live focus photo with the front camera. So there you go. It just took a live focus shot. You can see it worked because the background is blurry. I don't know, I find this really cool. You could prop your phone up or put it on a tripod and then control it with your voice. This next one is a really cool party trick and I think you guys might get a kick out of it. Hey Bixby, can you rap? This one deserves a mic drop at the end. Let's talk language. I'm a ling big step and add I'm master and letter with rhetoric after bad up grammar pro. Lexical antics, powerful poetic lyrics, elegant semantics, a remix. Or Chori Tech Trip, ever drop in rash rhymes, uncut, pink time, talking to you, is what I'm about. If you need a can, always give me a shout, shout, shout. The practicality level is like zero, but it is pretty cool. And there's actually another one that it can do. So, hey Bixby, can you rap? No problem. Let's drop a few rhymes. The wait is over. The future's at your door. Like, like ancient lore, I can offer more. But with that eyesore, tech in the drawer. I came from the store with your voice real sore. I'm a tech breakthrough. The world had need for a big speed breathe that can bring the speed. See me digitizing. Beats are harmonizing. Tech is mesmerizing. Mobile revolutionizing. Big speed out. I, I mean, it is what it is. And finally, the last little trick that I have for you is the ability to turn on some features. So I can say, hey Bixby, turn on the flashlight. Done, it's on. So, I mean, again, I'm not sure where this would be useful, but it is kind of cool that it's there. Hey Bixby, turn off the flashlight. Sure, it's now off. So that's 15 tips and tricks to use on your Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus with Bixby. Now these can also be applied to other Galaxy devices. They're not just specific to the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, but if you have anything to add to this list, leave it down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll talk to you lovely people in the next video.